Senator John Thune, Republican from South Dakota, joins me now. Mr. Senator, you just met with the families of Americans being held hostage by Hamas. Do they want a ceasefire? They want to get their family members out, Stuart. Uh, they were powerful and emotional stories, and they want our administration ha to have a clear-eyed focus on getting the Americans that are unaccounted for uh, out of Gaza. And so whoever they can work with, and we've said the same thing, that we need to work with our regional partners. Uh, we should be doing everything we can to get them out. Um, but I think at this point right now, the, the principal concern is those people in Gaza uh, those Americans that uh, are unaccounted for, and I hope that uh, the administration will stay focused on that and do everything they can to get them home. It's a very difficult situation, and hostage-taking is a very effective strategy, certainly in this case. You kind of have a choice. Eliminate Hamas or get the hostages out. You can't really do both, can you? Well, obviously, the Hamas does this for a reason. You know, clearly, sure. this is leverage for them. They, they want to use the hostages in exchange for some sort of concession from the Israelis or others. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, Hamas has to be eliminated. And Israel is, for obvious reasons, very focused on that. They've got not only rockets coming in from Hamas, but from the north and Hezbollah. And uh, they are in a perilous situation, and it's an existential issue for them. The country can't exist living side by side with the terrorist regime that on a daily basis is threatening them and attacking them with rockets, and most recently with a vicious, brutal attack that slaughtered uh, 1,400 Israeli citizens. So that's got to be Israel's focus. Um, at the same time, there ought to be efforts made, and I, we visited with our uh, folks in the region about some of our regional partners working to get those American hostages out. And Hamas could do that today. You know, it's up to them, and uh, hopefully they can feel the pressure from some of the, the regional partners there, along with the United States and Israel, and we can see those Americans get home. Well, the United Nations has called for a ceasefire, and President Biden has rejected it, saying that that would be to the benefit of Hamas. Are you with the president on rejecting a ceasefire? I am. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt about what happens in the, in the event of, and of course the United Nations is going to see that or say that, and uh, others uh, in the, the world who uh, observe what's going on there, but they, they need to understand the facts on the ground and what has happened. And we, when we were in Israel and you saw the stories, the videos, the images of these horrible, atrocious uh, killings by Hamas, uh, that's got to be the international community's focus. Indeed. And the Israelis are going to do everything they can to protect innocent life, but you cannot, you cannot avoid dealing with the, the, the threat that exists here on a daily basis, and that is a terror regime whose principal goal is to kill Jews and to erase Israel from the map. A quick question. Do you support fully the $100 billion aid package for Israel and Ukraine? You support it for both countries, do you? Well, we want to have our input, uh, input into that. Uh, that was a package that came up from the White House, as you know, Stuart, and the Senate wants to make sure that we have an opportunity to look at that. There are things in there that we thought that we, we would reprioritize in terms of funding, things that we would knock out. We want to have a border package included in that. That's really important from a national security standpoint. You now have, just in the last year, 159 people on the terrorist watch list coming into the United States across the southern border, including 18 in the month of September alone. So there are things in this package that uh, the Republicans want to have um, an opportunity to fix. And we'll see where it goes from there. Ultimately, I think it's important. We live in a dangerous world. As uh, former Secretary Bob Gates has said, our holiday from history is over. And we need to be engaged in making sure that the world stays safe Indeed. for uh, democracies and, uh, and, and create stability and not chaos, which is what these terrorist groups want. Senator John Thune. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. We'll see you again real Thanks, soon. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, Good sir. to be with you.